This week, CNO talks deployment length, CMP preps people for the future, MCPON touches on tradition, and a liberty policy update that gives CEOs more authority. Welcome to our first edition of the Weekly Wire Rundown. First up in a March 9th Navy Times story, CNO says the Navy's close to reining in the long deployments of the last three years. USS Carl Vinson's on a nine and a half month deployment, then Theodore Roosevelt has eight and a half months. After that, look for seven months at sea to be the norm for the majority of the fleet by 2017. The CNO and CMP teamed up in the latest conversation with a shipmate. I'm in it too. They got together March 3rd to talk about a complete overhaul of the personnel system. Why? Modernization. There's been no substantial change since the 1940s, so Admiral Moran is bringing the system to the 21st century. The interview also discusses changes to the BCA. We'll keep you updated as that proposal moves forward. In another Navy Times piece, Mick Pond discussed the research on the full history of chief induction season. I'll warn you, the article gets a touch graphic, but it's still an interesting read and goes to show how a change in practice doesn't always mean a break from tradition. Before we go, commanding officers have new authority thanks to a liberty policy update. Announced March 2nd, COs have more flexibility to grant special liberty and establish their own out-of-bounds areas. The special liberty cap of four days remains, but your CO can grant liberty instead of leave for things like funerals and caring for sick relatives. Well, we hope you enjoyed our first Weekly Wire Rundown, and we hope this video and the wire itself inform communications with your sailors. Reach out on email to give us feedback and questions. I'm MC1 Elliot Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.